Hi, my name is Gary Gross, and this is another episode of Flying Short Your Business Lessons in Brief. And today's topic is delegation, a different angle on delegation. You know, I've talked about delegation in another video where I talk about the steps that you need to make sure you take to delegate well and efficiently. Okay, This isn't that. This is a little more conceptual. What we're talking about here is why do you delegate? And one of the things that I've found so true is that many managers will say, you know, I don't want to delegate this job. I don't really want to do the job, but it'll take me longer to explain how to do it than it is to just do it. And so they do. And they think that they're saving people. They're rescuing or protecting their employees by doing it for them. And you're not. No, no, you're not. When a job is ready to be delegated, you know it, and it's time to do it. Now, many times, of course, I'm saying to myself exactly that thing, that you know, I, don't, I don't have time. I, it's faster to do it than to train somebody to do it. Okay, How many times have you said that to yourself? Right? Yeah? Me? Two billion. Uh, almost. Almost. I'm working on mo- almost two billion times I said that now. All right? But I know that that's the thought that everybody goes through everybody's mind, and it's very true. But what it really means is when you did have the time, you didn't take good advantage of it. You didn't use it well. When you do have the time, that's the time to train somebody on something that you'd like to pass off to them later on. All right? Delegate. Delegating is not a bad thing. Delegating is a good thing. Delegating not only frees you up to be more productive, and by the way, that's the way you should measure it. Not by by how well the other person does, but more importantly, what you did with the new free time when you didn't have to do what you used to be doing. Okay? Were you more productive? Did you get more important things done? That's how you measure the quality of your delegation. However, You do still need to delegate efficiently. And you need to remember that when you're doing it, you're actually paying your employee a compliment. You're bringing him or her into your office and you're saying, I need you to do this for me. It's important. It has to be done right. It's every Tuesday and Thursday, whatever it is. And and I really need you to step up and do it, and I'm going to show you how. But I'm counting on you. This is a compliment. This isn't unloading more work on somebody. Oh yeah, sometimes they'll think that. But ultimately they're going to think to themselves, he picked me. He picked me. He didn't pick Joe. He didn't pick Karen. He picked me to do this job. It's a compliment. You are showing them that you trust them. And you're not protecting them from doing things. You're helping them learn. You're helping them grow. Delegate when you can. Few things help an individual more than to place responsibility upon him and to let him know that you trust him. Booker T. Washington. Good words to live by. My name is Gary Bros. That was your Flying Shorts episode for today. Business lessons in brief, and you were an amazing audience.